Welcome to Awkward Introvert Travels YouTube page. I hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. I was not a traditional college student. I actually left school and came back. So for my last semester in college, I had to do something epic for spring break. I decided to go on a seven day road trip by myself. <laughs> I know, crazy, but I mean, it was the last spring break. You gotta do something memorable. Nobody knew that I was going to do this. Like my sisters, my mother, Nobody, nobody knew. It was totally spontaneous. Like I said, I just wanted to do something epic. My first stop was to see my sister in Charlotte, North Carolina. That was a total surprise to her. <laughs> she was not expecting me, but we had a great time. We went to lunch. We got the chat, all that. I wasn't able to spend a night with her, so I continued driving until I got tired, and that led me to Savannah, Georgia. Now, here's where things get interesting. <laughs> so, my sister booked a hotel for me in Savannah, Georgia. It was pretty late. I was tired, ready to get in the bed. When I got to the room, there were some red flags. One, I went to the bathroom, the toilet didn't flush. And two, I went to go call and the phones didn't work. I ended up physically going downstairs the lady was very apologetic and she changed my room with no hesitation. Uh, but I get to the other room and the door did not close, lock shut. It, it was a secure. Like, I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was not working properly. At this point... I was like, I'm not going back downstairs. I, I don't want to get my room changed. I just put a chair in front of the door, said a prayer, and got in the bed. Y'all, it started storming and thundering and lightning. And the lights went out for a good 10, 15 seconds. Let me tell, let me tell you, I, I thought, I thought I was, I thought something real bad was going to happen, especially it was some stories about young girls in the hotel rooms and things going south. I thought I was going to be the next headline, but thankfully nothing happened. I was safe. I was just staying at a raggedy hotel. <laughs> but now I can laugh at it. I was not laughing during that situation. I was actually texting my sister like, hey, if something happens to me, uh, here's what's going on. But yeah, I can laugh at it now. I wasn't sure where my next destination would be but I know I really want to go to the beach. I also had Miami, Florida on my bucket list. Though once I looked at the distance from Savannah, <laughs> I said, nah, maybe I shouldn't. That amount of driving, solo traveling, I don't think that's a good idea. So I looked and saw the next closest city of my interest was Daytona Beach. I didn't know much about it. I've heard people go there for spring break or, you know, for the racetrack. I just wanted to go to the beach. 
again, nobody knew <laughs> about this trip and what I was doing. So I did not tell anybody until I crossed that Florida border. They were shocked. I mean, very shocked. <laughs> but they're fine. They're fine. Listen, if your family is all, you know, they're going to talk, talk, talk. It's dangerous. Is this, is that. As long as you use your common sense, the same safety practices that you use at home, you should be fine. Just be aware of your surroundings. Don't act like a tourist. Don't look like a tourist. Don't look clueless. You'll be fine. So I made it to Daytona Beach. I checked into the hotel. It was so cute. Beachfront. I was living my 26-year-old <laughs> year life like I was living it up i was still kind of scared because i was by myself so i didn't venture out too much i did i went to eat obviously i went to bubble gum i explored the city a little bit it was bike week so it was real loud i didn't really like that i, I probably wouldn't go again during bike week unless it, hey if you're a motorcyclist, motorcycle enthusiast, check out this on the beach for bike week. I I did not like it. It was not for me. But yeah, I said I didn't do too much. I went to the shopping center and mainly I just wanted to go for the beach, really. Other than that, I don't know what it is to see and do on Daytona Beach. I also I also wasn't the travel enthusiast that I am now, so I can research for a trip. But back then, I was winging it. It was my first time. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I had a good time in Daytona Beach. So next on my trip, I went to Atlanta, Georgia to see my other sister. And that, I I really had a good time, mainly for the food. <laughs> I like to eat, if you can't tell. <laughs> so in Atlanta, me and my sister, we went to this restaurant, Greens and Gravy. We had a whole spread of Southern food. Man, I tell you, mm, just think about it. It makes my mouth water. <laughs> It was so good. And then we went to the Body Museum. It was kind of weird, but informative at the same time. We also uh, went to Varsity and had burgers and fries. It's good to hang out with my sister. I haven't seen her in a while. She was new to Atlanta, so just to be with her was really nice. Lastly, I stopped in Clarksville, Tennessee to see my great aunt. Again, <laughs> that was another, uh, another time. <laughs> so I get to Clarksville, Tennessee. I see my great aunt. I haven't seen her in a while. It was great. We're loving on each other. We're talking, this, that, and the other. Until I realized I can't find the rental car keys. Yeah, somewhere in her house, I misplaced the rental car keys. And after that, I just could not focus on the trip. My great aunt is very known in the community and she invited me to go to a function with her. I, like, I just could not. I, I stayed there looking for those keys. I mean, in every room and underneath everything. And I, I just couldn't, couldn't find it. And I just began to panic. And I mean, panic, panic. Well, never found the keys and I ended up having to call the rental company and they brought me another car 
then when I got home, they sent me a bill for three, four hundred dollars. And let me tell you, as a recent, not even recent, I didn't even graduate that. As a struggling college student who hadn't graduated yet, that was a lot of money. In the end, my mom and my great aunt gave me money to help me pay for the key replacement. Now what the kicker is, maybe about a month later, my little cousin's baby found the keys. But it was too late because we already paid the fine. <laughs> Anyways, that is the story of the time. I took a seven-day road trip solo.